Hey, what's YouTube? Today I'll be showing you how to make, once again, another one of my builds. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to make a laundry store. Now this is one of the old fashioned laundry stores, just like the, um, trailer you see. So, um, basically this is a lot, this is a little bit bigger than the last one. A little bit, it's a little bit small, but a little bit, too, it's a little, it's, it's about even, even. 50-50, I think. Um, but you're gonna need, um, how big is it? I wonder how big is it? It's 21 blocks long this way. And then 24 going back that way. So the materials that you're going to be needing is some lime terracotta, some white concrete, smooth quartz slab, cyan terracotta, the last paint, and some sea lanterns. Now, once you got all those materials, once you figure out where you want to make it, here's what you can do. You want to go up, you want to start on this left hand block here, the first block you ever place, and we're going to go up by 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, Sorry about that. I'm uh, just looking at my um, no, um, thing here of my build here. I have a little um, on my little nose as well. So um, you want to go up by eight, and you want to go back twenty-four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Two, three, four. And once you've done that, here's what you're going to do next. Now, once you get to this point right here, you want to stack up. You want to leave um, this entire part alone, guys. I'm sorry about that. You leave up all of it to here, right? Um, I don't know how big it is, but um, I don't know how much I left off. You leave that much, and you want to connect the rest with the um, lime terracotta here. And now this build is tricky, so you're going to have to really pay attention to this build, because this build is very, very... Um, the, the front part is hard. The rest is easy, but the rest from here are even uh, harder than it is. So you, once you get to this point right here, you want to extend out your build, your green terracotta by two blocks like that so you have a big giant wall here and now what you want to do now is get out your glass panes and you want to go right by you want to go right by four so one two three and four and you want to go up by five so one two three four five one two three four five and there you go there is you're going up by five with the glass pane here. Actually, get rid of one of the rows, guys. You don't need the second row. Just get rid of those rows, and you'll have a one block gap here. Now, what we want to do now is put a row of white concrete on top of this and connect it to the wall here of your laundry place so you have that big giant window there and put a row of scion terracotta on top once again another row of white concrete and there you should have the um, full root of uh, the full part the um, entire that's how sorry that's how the front is going to look like guys but it's not going to look just not going to be just simple it's not going to be simple at all guys what you want to do next is you want to go inside your build and you want to go back once again by five. No, once again four. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Side it up by five. Like this, guys. And once again, you want to put a row of white concrete on top. Cyan terracotta and white concrete, and now you should have a little gap here, and that is what you should have. That's what you should be looking like right now. And now you want to go right once again, and you want to place a row of seven glass pane. Yes, seven rows of glass pane going right on the floor right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven.
My bad, guys. I'm gonna go back size six. Put a row of um, white concrete like this. Or you want to connect it like this, and then you should uh, connect it like this, guys. So I'll make sure more times that's correct. Yes, that is correct. Now, sorry about that. Wait, guys, I'm so sorry. What you want to do now is you want to go up with your glass pane. You want to make an entrance. Go up about five right here. And you want to make a one door entrance here. You want to connect it like that. And then there you have your little entrance. And you want to connect it with, once again, your white concrete. You should be left with a four block gap. Now, what we want to do now is add a row of siren terracotta right here and a row of white concrete. Now, you're not done with the entrance quite yet, guys, so there's what the entrance is looking like right now. It looks very, very good, I should say, right now. It looks very, very good. Now, the back part, what we're going to get to later, is up to you how big you want your back part to be, like how much white concrete you want back here. Um, on my original one, I do not know how much white concrete it is, but it's up to you to, It's up to you that, uh, it's up to you if you want to have a lot of white concrete or just, uh, and just not have any white concrete at all. It's up to you. Now, once you get to this point right here, this is what you want to do next. You want to get out your glass panes once more and put a row of three glass panes like this. And then stack it up five. And then once you hit to this point as well, guys, as uh, with every other window that we've done, stack it up like this. And then there is your front entrance almost complete guys almost done what we want to do is get your lion terracotta out and where you get where you have this point right here guys you want to extend out your uh lion terracotta out here by um one two three four five rows here you want to stack it out stack it out us uh, extend it out by five and you want to extend it leave it right of where the window should be right there And then you want to put a row of cyan terracotta on top, white concrete on the top as well, so you should have that point right there. What we're going to do now, guys, you want to connect your cyan terracotta like this, so we can close off the gap here, and then put a row of white concrete on top of here as well. And then fill in this part right here with cyan terracotta. Now, I'll be back once in the morning. Once you reach this point right here, guys, we're almost done with the tutorial. We're almost done. Don't worry. So what we want to do now is add in lighting to your uh, laundry place. You want to leave a gap. Leave a gap. Leave a block of two. Leave a gap. Like that. We're going to do it for every single block here until you reach to the end of your um, laundry place. Once you get to this point right here, fill this entire area in with your sea lanterns. Now this is supposed to be like little lighting inside the uh, inside the store. Now we're gonna have like a name, but we're gonna actually make it where um, it's up to you how you want to make it. It represents like the name. I'm not gonna spell that in banner because um, that might take forever, and I don't want to uh, rush you guys with like an hour. 
I'm figuring this out. <laughs> if it was a live stream, I would, but not really. So it's up to you how you want to make your letters. That's supposed to represent like um, laundry shop or whatever you want to name it. Now, once you reach this point right here, guys, what you want to do now is extend. You want to come onto the side of your uh, laundry place. And you want to extend out with the white concrete. You want to extend it out by 24. Now the uh, first few blocks should be counted, so you should have this much. You should have uh, this much left. So you should have 24 in total if you count it out right. And you want to connect it all the way back together. And this is where it gets to the point right here, guys. So this is up to you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is up to you how you want to make it. Now my white concrete can go all the way up to here. Now you can have it up up to here or no con white concrete, but um, I want to have actually actually this is wrong, guys. You want to actually put in um my mistake once more, guys. Oh, uh, you want to extend out your line break, uh line chair car, right? All the way to the end, right? You want to extend it all the way to the end. And then you want to extend out inward with your white concrete. About 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 blocks long. So you should have this much space. Now if it's less than that guys, you can, um, I'll show you my original one, but I might just put it into 8 right now. But you want to have, um, you want to have the white line terracotta sticking outwards. Because um, on the how I found out on the image of LA Noir, like I said, again taking it from the um, travel agency, the uh, green wall here is extended out, and the building itself curves inwards. So there you go. And once you get to this point right here, guys, all we gotta do is fill in the walls, and then we gotta build the roof. And then the tutorial is about over. But we do have a few things, we do have a few extra things around the place. Again guys, it's up to you how big you want your, um, it's up to you, um, but I recommend leaving the building like this, um, because this is how it actually looks. I don't recommend changing anything. But the only thing you can change is how wide you want your, um, interior wall here. If you don't want any interior wall, you can just, you can just connect it like that and that's it. In my original one, I had it connected for a reason because of, I don't know why. But I did have it connected up, so um, I did have it connected inward, uh, you'll see in a little bit. Um, I'll let you know how big it is, so um, um, once we get to the original one, I will be showing you how wide it will be. I'll also be showing you the, um, the dimensions of how wide mine looks like and how mine's different, how mine's going to be looking different to yours, guys, so um, you know. You want to get out your cyan terracotta once again. You want to extend it out here, and that's and that's all you want to do, guys. You want to extend it. You want to have the cyan terracotta like this because you want to leave a one block gap in the roof here. And then um, for this top part right here, you don't want to, but the, for the rest of the place, you want to have a one block gap. So that's why um, the um, block is here so um, on my original one um i'll show you the original roof as well on um, how mine is different than yours what you want to do now is connect the um scion terracotta together like this um mine is completely different from the original one so um it's up to you how you want to do this guys it's up to you it's up to you um now we're going to put in the roof which we're not, i'm not going to be filling the roof for you guys so you guys can um do it yourself. Um, this is how my roof is going to look like. This is how the original roof looks like. So once you get the once you get the roof filled in here, and um, and then once you fill in the roof with uh, smooth quartz slabs, you know, and everything like that, and all jazz and everything. And then once you want to do now is you want to rip up the floor, and I replaced the original one with. Um, it's up to you how you want to make the flooring, it's up to you, so I'll be doing that as well. But, um, from here on out, guys, this is the end of the tutorial. Now, there is a few more things I need to, uh, um, assign you with. Um, 
the front here, you want to rip up this entire place here um, and fill it with your block of choice. Do not fill it in with the sidewalk of your choice. Do not fill it in with smooth stone or whatever uh, the style that you're using. Use a different block for it. I just not figured this out. Um, on the when I looked up the images, I um, found a different. Um, I found out the uh, the uh, here is actually melted in with the flooring, so it actually is connected with the flooring. Um, for the original one that I did is uh, pillar quartz. You can do whatever block you wanted. Um, also, um, if you're make sure to destroy underneath the uh, glass pane. You don't want to leave any like um, grass underneath the glass pane. So um, we're gonna refill this in with white concrete, and then we'll be um, oops. And then we'll um, now show you my original one. All right, guys, this tutorial is about. Uh, this tutorial is completely done now. This is the entire outside of the shell of your laundry place should be done. It should be fully 100% fully complete like this. This should how this is how it should look like. So um, you can have it. You can have it connected to another building if you wanted to. Um, it's up to you guys. It's really up to you. So if you guys do any, if you want to figure out how um, my original one looks like, stay tuned and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, this is the original version of my laundry shop. Now, this is um, the point right here you want to have. So this is what I did for the original version of my um, of my laundry place. So um, I also, um, this is what I did. Um, I did not extend out the white concrete to the grit lime terracotta. Um, yeah, lime terracotta. I didn't extend out the white concrete. So this is, um, let me show you. This is how the original roof of mine looks like of my original, uh, th this is what the original roof should look like of your laundry place. Now, I actually extended out the scion terracotta to melt in with that to connect to the white concrete. Um, uh, it was different on the original, it's different on the tutorial one, but it's up to you guys how you want to do your roof. Now, I did not, um, <clears throat> it's up to you how you want to do the roof, anything like that, so that it should, um, that should be good to go. So you should be, um, good from there. Now, like I said, um, I recommend leaving this area out with the sidewalk. I don't recommend connecting this with the sidewalk. It would look too much. It would just look ridiculous. Um, so I recommend um, whatever floor you're using for the inside of your laundry place, I recommend using it for the outside here. Uh, let me just count this out see if it's six. Yes, it is six, guys. I'm so sorry. Again, um, I, um, I did the image of my... Uh, I used my laptop to take an image. Take a snapshot my image real quick um but it didn't really turn out very great the brightness is too bright um so um, yeah this is what you want to have right here um this is the original one um what i did for the outside i didn't do that much for the outside because this is connected to my town i don't have a part i don't have a product for the side or the back because it's a little bit different for the back all i did was just added a plain white door now um like i said um it's up to you how big you want this part you want it bigger you want it you don't want it at all or you just want to have just green concrete, um, lime ter uh, just like a green wall inside the place, just like that. So, um, it should look like that if you wanted to. Now, <clears throat> from here on out, uh, this is going to be all up to you guys. This is all up to you how you want to do your inside. So, moving on, si moving on the inside of the laundry place, we have a couple of tables, um, using, um, dark oak wood and everything like that. Those are sort of like, uh, I'm like, we have like, um, like towels or like, um, your clean, like, clean clothes or dirty clothes that you can put on top of the table or something like that. Like, however laundry places are. Never made in one. And then we also have, like, a row of, um, gray carpet. Like this. I also just, I just found it out from the image from my, uh, I took a snapshot of the inside of the L uh, my laundry shop from the LNUR as well, so that'd be good. Um, what I also did is put a row of three Car great carpet here so the flooring would um, so there's not as much white around and then I also put it a row of two here and then a row of two here coming down here so we have 
the white and the green are just been, like, the green is supposed to represent, like, separation, like, the storage and everything you can put in here, like, uh, laundry detergent and everything like that, and then we also have a washer, dryer and washer, and then it can change the cycle from here, from here on out, and then the rest of it, I'm just, like, storage and shelving and everything like that, excuse me, storage and shelving like that, and then how I left it off, how I connected the, how I made the, um, employees area, I left off a row of three blocks here, I left off with three, that's off three rows of white concrete there. I added a row of quartz stairs up top like this, connected it all the way down to the ground so it's a giant rectangular shape. And then connect and then took this half of the entire place right here and then took this half of it so it equals out so it's three on each side. Uh, there's only well, it's two on that side and three on that side, so it doesn't need it. Um so how I did for the lightning, I used lanterns. I use like little mini lights so they would actually connect perfectly, they align wind together and I also put them in the corner as well so I could brighten up the uh, store a lot more. That should be enough lighting for like if you're looking outside, um, it should look really good from there. Now if we move on to the employees area only, um, I replaced the flooring with chisel quartz, quartz, quartz block, excuse me, can't speak today, um, and then I also left it three block gap here, left the three block gap here, so yeah, three blocks, and then the uh, dark oak are sort of like um, hangers, the clothes, and then up here as well, and then like how they would do it, like how they would press them, I think, to, I don't know, and then back here, once again, it's more like storage, back here, like, uh, we would keep all like the broken stuff and everything like that, and that would lead out to the back, to the outside, so, um, let me know what yours looks like, guys. Um, this is the entire laundry place, 100% fully completed. I put it right, squished it right next to the, um, the, um, trailing seat because I wanted to have enough room for another build right here. So, if you guys do really enjoy it, thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. I'll be making more videos like this coming up more. Um, more daily videos like this every weekend, um, not so much during the weekend because I have Minecraft builds to make and some other stuff, but it'll be coming up soon. Let me know what you want to make next, guys, and stay tuned for the next video. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more notifications for me. And make sure you get to, make sure you hit the bell for, so you can get to, hit that sub box, and so you can, um, Subscribe, you want to subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell once more, and uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so that makes sure you directly get all the notifications to you whenever I make a new video every day. Let me know what we're going to make next. See you guys next time.